Hello friends, this video on perimeter and area part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we had been dealing with areas of different shapes and figures, square, rectangle, uh, triangle, parallelogram, circles. So we are also dealing with a number of units. So mostly we have dealt with units like meters, centimeters, kilometers. Now here quickly we will look at the conversion of units. Now this is something which you have already learned in one of your previous lessons, but it is like a quick recap. So we have learned that as you, you look at this um, table which is in a particular sequence like milli, centi, decimeter, deca, hecto, kilo. Now if you are talking about distance so it becomes millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter, decameter, hectometer, kilometer. If you are talking about volume something in liters so then it becomes milliliter, centiliter, deciliter, liter, decaliter, hectoliter and kiloliters. So that's how it becomes. Now the relationship is such that as you move down, so from above to below, so as you move down, you are actually moving towards bigger units. So a kilometer is always a bigger unit than a millimeter. Now that is why you would have seen that uh, bigger distances like maybe the distance between two cities is always measured in kilometers. So if, if you ask how far is Bangalore from Chennai, so it would be in some say, 600 kilometers. So that's how we define. Now if you want, you can also describe it in meter. But if you want to describe it in meter, then what happens? Now let's say that the distance between Bangalore and Chennai is 600 kilometers. So this is just an approximate value. Okay. So this is how it is if you describe it in kilometers. Now if I say that I want to describe the same thing in meters. So you can do that. But in that case, this 6 will carry 5 zeros with it. That is 6 lakh meters. Because the unit is becoming smaller. So if the unit is becoming smaller, the value would be more. So if you want to measure the same distance in millimeters, then it becomes 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, this much millimeter. So which is a more convenient way to express the distance between two cities using kilometers, right? Because it is extremely tedious to remember the number of zeros after 6 in millimeters. So that is why wherever we are uh, I mean, dealing with bigger distances, we make use of bigger units like kilometers or hectometers. When we are dealing with smaller distances, then we deal with millimeters. In fact, there are many more smaller units and many more bigger units, but these are like the standard ones. Now, in order to convert from one unit to another, we follow a very simple logic. When you move down, you divide. So D for down, D for divide. So as you move down from one unit to another, you divide and you divide by 10 at each step. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you have to convert one millimeter into a meter. So you have to express one millimeter in meters. So how would you do? So from millimeter, you need to move to meters. So that means you need to move down. And how many steps down? One, two, three. So you have to move three steps down. So what you do? You divide this one millimeter by how many zeros? Three zeros because you have to go three steps down. So one divided by one, 1000 meters. So one millimeter is equal to one by 1000 meters. Now let similarly let us say, so this is one example. Let us take another example. Let's say that you have to convert five centimeters into kilometers. So how do you convert? So here also centimeters to kilometers. So from up, you want to go down. Down means divide. Divide by what? How many steps? One, two, three, four and five. So that means this five centimeters divided by one followed by five zeros. So this much kilometer. So five centimeters is equal to five by hundred thousand kilometers. So this is how we convert and exactly the opposite as you move up. Now whenever you move up, what you do? Whenever you move up, you multiply it. So that means if I say that I have to convert 5 by 
one lakh kilometers in two centimeters in that case we are moving up by five steps so this entire value will get multiplied by one followed by five zeros and that is how you convert it into centimeters so let's say let's take an example let's say that you have to convert five kilometers into centimeters so how do you convert so five multiplied by how many zeros kilometer to centimeter is one two three four five steps so you multiply it by one one two three four five zeros so this much centimeter so five kilometer is equal to five lakh centimeters so this is how the conversion of units happen now since here we are dealing with area so how do we convert area from one unit to another so we will follow the same logic let us take the example let's say you have to convert meter square to centimeter square so now we know that what is the relationship between meter and centimeter so how much centimeter is equal to 1 meter so basically you have to find out you are trying to convert 1 meter into centimeter so if you look at that diagram you would see that centimeter and meter the distance between them are two jumps so meter to centimeter is moving down to up so when you move up you multiply so this is 1 into 100 centimeter so basically 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so when you talk about meter square so meter square is nothing but 1 meter into 1 meter so 1 meter into 1 meter would be 100 centimeter into 100 centimeter so one this 100 centimeter is for 1 meter similarly this 100 centimeter is for another 1 meter so this becomes 10,000 centimeter square so therefore we can say that 1 meter square is equal to 10,000 centimeter square so in a similar way if you have to do the vice versa that is centimeter square to meter square now we know that 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meter therefore 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter will be equal to 1 by 100 meter into 1 by 100 meter so this would be equal to 1 by 10,000 meter square which is equal to 0 0.0001 meter square so therefore we can say 1 centimeter square is equal to 0 0.0001 meter square so this is how we convert area from one unit to another Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.